Today Mikko from Finish Your Plate and I will show you how to enjoy the Finnish sauna like a Finn. Let's go! Sauna is the most critical artifact of the Finnish culture. That's where women used to give birth and we have more than 3 million saunas in Finland. So if you ever visit Finland you have to try sauna at least once. The real natural way to enjoy sauna is naked. And believe me, being naked in sauna is just as normal as having breakfast or brushing your teeth. Nothing weird about that. If you're worried about being naked with strangers, don't worry because sauna is nothing sexual. Everybody in sauna is equal and treated with respect. So here are the items you need when you go to sauna. Towel or bathrobe, fresh clothes to wear after the sauna, optional, a beverage of your choice, a water bottle and swimwear. Step 1. Turn on the sauna. Most of the today's saunas are electric. So what you need to do is just to turn it on and wait around 30 to 45 minutes. And you turn it on by either using the valve or these digital interfaces. You may also come across these wooden saunas and those you heat up with wood. And the idle temperature in saunas is usually 70 to 100 degrees Celsius. Let's hear a quick introduction from Mikko. Hey, I'm Mikko from Finish Your Plate channel. So on my channel, you may have seen it, I cook simple everyday Finnish food, mostly for the American audience, but also for the international audience. And of course, when in Finland, you've got to go to the sauna. Step two, get naked and take a shower. So before heading to the sauna, it's a good idea to take a proper shower so that you also clean up yourself and you don't bring any dirty stuff into the sauna. And let's hear Mikko explain some of the key items in Finnish saunas. So this thing is called pefleti, just a towel This is made from linen that you can sit on on the laude if it's too hot. Sometimes it gets a little bit too hot. If you don't have one of these, you could always just throw a little bit of water there and that'll certainly cool down. Laude over here, this is the bench that you sit on. This is called Laude. And then what we have over here is the stove or also known as Kiwas. That is the main part of sauna where you throw the water. And this is called Kiulu or this is just basically a bucket or water vessel where the water is. And this thing is called Lulukauha. This is the ladle or dipper that you use to throw the Lulu which is either the act of throwing water on the stove or the actual steam that you get from throwing water on the stove. All right, so there's two different types, two different ways of throwing lulu. One is that you just take the dipper and then just gently pour it in like that. The other one is that you take some water and then you throw it like that. Mikko, how many scoops of lolo do you recommend to throw at once? I would say per round, I would say it's about three or four. Any less than that, and you don't really have any time to get sweaty enough. More than that, then it starts to be a little too hot. I really have to add here quickly that Mikko is a true hardcore sauna dude because three to four scoops at once is actually quite a bit. So if you're just a beginner, I recommend one to two, just fill it out and go from there. And then you just sit back and relax because that's the whole point of sauna in the first place. And if you bring a buddy or two, that's a great opportunity to catch up and also talk about deeper topics. And sauna is the place where Finns actually start to open up because the less clothes Finns wear, the more social and open they become. And if a Finnish person invites you to a sauna, that's a sign of a potential friend. Then after a while, usually around 10 to 15 minutes, it's a good idea to take a break. So you exit the sauna and you can for example go outside to cool down. And remember, you dehydrate in the sauna, so make sure to grab some water during the breaks. Especially if you're having a few alcoholic drinks, because those as well dehydrate you. And remember, the finished tap water is delicious and 100% safe to drink. And also before going back to the sauna, it's a good idea to take another quick shower. And if you have a lake available, it's a great idea to take a quick swim or dip during the break. If you feel things are getting too hot, it's completely fine to sit on the lower levels. Drinking alcoholic drinks in private saunas is usually fine, but please avoid glass bottles and use cans instead. 
Mikko, what's that thing you have in your hand? So sometimes people also like to use sauna scents like this one. They may smell like birch, and sometimes forest smell, or maybe even eucalyptus or something like that. So what you do is you just pour just a little bit in the water, and then you enjoy the scent when you throw the lid. Also make sure to keep the sauna door closed because that will piss Finns off because the heat will escape from the sauna room. It's also okay to lie down in the sauna as long as there is enough space for that. Here are some things that you should definitely not do in sauna. Stare. Read. Use your phone or social media. Or drink from the Lölykauha. Make sure to check out the video we did together on Mikko's channel. Some Finnish food goodness over there. Finish your plate on YouTube. See you there. Moi. Moi.